Final race of the day, the foot warming chase here at Chelsea Club at 2 miles 7. Quite a big field. Derek still holds the top shot and he has the top two here in Carfon de Romeo and to keep it complaining. Elvis Martin Leiden, Daniel Grancia, Matt Cooper, New Divide and Robert Nets for Patrick Organ, Riff McRoom, Alex Cherry, Tough, Toughest Boots, Pontypool Racing, Vermillion Nera, James Shane, Nightmare and Ma Maxi Mix Saga for Jamie Hopkins and Violet Snow Weighty and Linda McMahon for Mark Cooper. Bottom one, Mark Cherry is the one, I believe. They're off and running, jumped the first fence and they've all jumped it safely. Two miles seven and the longest race of the day here at Chelsea Corbett. Don't forget, next week is Cheltenham. Oh, the lucky 63 will call be coming from that one meeting next week. Sorry for the flat boys who is you'll have to wait for the Breeders' Cup meeting, I expect, to get all flat racing. But Linda McMahon jumps next, they jump in that one. And Elvis is the leader now. Martin has stated that this almost seems to fade. A bit of a full on short or two today. He's hoping that he stays this shorter trip out. Linda McMahon in second on the outside. On the inside is Maxi Mix Cigar. They're clear of Nightmare, about five lengths away back in four, but he leads the rest of the field. Well, tightly bunched reference, boom, new divide, Vermillion Nero, Calfunda Romeo, Daniel Garcia, while it's no way to tough his boots are too brandy at Tikibi, complaining, and Robinats. It's the bat marker for Patrick Organ, whose horses have been jumping really badly today, and it's cost him, I think, a one at least. They jumped the ditch. They all jumped that safely. I need my man on a half length of a maxi mixer guy. I'm sorry, I've got my TV on in the background. Uh, fatal, fatal. I think for a comedy to do, eh? Sack him, I say. I need my man. <laughs> sorry about that. He's by an ever maxi mix saga. Elvis is in third. Nightmare is a gap in fourth. And I'll put the TV on because I've listened into the 320 at Lingfield. There you go. On, on that to basis. I forgot to, to turn it on to do this last com for you of the day. Maxi mix saga. Linda my man. Elvis is two lengths away. They jump in that one, they're clear of Cofunda Romeo and then Nightmare with McRoom and Rappanats, Vermillion Nero, swing left handed again, uh, and then my man on the outside of Maxi McSaga, Elvis has lost the lead, but the chucky is giving a little bit of nudge along there to try and get back to the front, I think. Therefore, the pylons clear of Cofada Romeo, Nightmare, then New Divide. They jump in that one and they're watching him going over it. We lost that Daniel Garcia towards the rear of Matt Cooper. And he's still got the lead low in Linda McMahon. Leads by length, they jump in that one. And the two Brennan both jumped that one. Okay, Maxi McZaga just bit better jumping than Elvis. Uh, just like that, these are two lengths, three lengths clear of Cofunda Romeo. And then can the night be a rhythmic room and new divide. The one that's tailing himself off is Tiki B complaining. Nine phones left to run them. They're on their final circuit here, and Linda McMahon's being pressed now by Elvis on the outside. Elvis with the nose band on jumps it on the outside, but uh, out jump on Linda McMahon again. But on the fly, he's come alongside again. They're going to swing left handed, and the advantage of the inside wheel here is with Linda McMahon. But Elvis is pressing him strongly on the outside. He could be on the jump in now on the next fence because I'm sure Elvis would like to leave. But again, he was out jumped by Linda McMahon on the inside. He went on again by the length. Here there was the next one. Little my man again, Elvis comes alongside, but again, little my man's jumping is keeping her ahead of Elvis, who's not got a little bit of ridden along there in second. 
Back in third is Maximik Sagan in confirmed of Romeo Rabinats has made some good ground in the fifth from behind him can violate no weighty and rhythmic room new divide tepper's boots is behind that one as Elvis has taken it up and then I was gone quick and down by a length and a half Linda McMahon in second now but trying to get back on terms on the inside half length between them now and Elvis is ridden along now towards the next message he's repressed again by Linda McMahon they're having a good old battle these two and probably setting the up for something to be held up for the race and here comes one of those horses by it's no weighty to come down to put a challenge down to Elvis now Linda McMahon looks to be a bit a bubble is bursting here back in third on the inside. Earthmic rules on the outside confunder Romeo and Robin Arts and then comes Vermillion Nero and uh, Tuffer's Boots are trying to make some late progress is the James Shea runner down towards the next rhythmic room leads now by a length from Elvis who's coming to pressure and certainly jumping that one they've only got one there Elvis is trying to battle back on the inside rhythmic room on the outside can he get to six winners no you count the Derek Hinton train for the Romeo jumped it into the lead and up towards the line the maestro Derek Hinton has got back a two count, two got backed up to win this Dunter's chase and takes his lead back to two. He's going for it, is Derek in the Hinton's table for a top trainer. Master stroke, final race of the day. Confunded when we won it, going away and when it is in the end for a million Neo in second for James Shea. Then the rhythmic room at Tappers Bush stayed on late for fourth. We'll wait on for the fifth, and that was Elvis and Martin Leiden.